Hey guys, Steve Watts here, Beamer Toyota in Nashville. Um, got some real exciting news for you. Well, exciting news for me. <laughs> you guys know I've been waiting for my truck and I've told you guys that uh, I am getting a Tundra. Um, I have been on the list since March for our, our particular list, um, waiting to get the truck that I want. So I um, wanted to bring you guys along with it a little bit and I have told you guys that I would keep you up to date. So hopefully you're watching this video just because it, it's an interesting conversation, right? So my truck has been built as of the 6th of October. Um, I'm getting a limited, iForce Max Hybrid Tundra um, in blue and now I think I probably told you guys this before but I wanted the bolder interior. I'm not getting the bolder interior. I'm actually going to get the black interior. Why? Because it became available quicker. So um, there's a lot of people asking about uh, you know hey well I bet you guys can get exactly what you want or something like that. It really some of us were still, and I don't want to use the word settling because there's no way I'm settling, right? Um, I'm getting a truck that I want in a configuration that I want that uh, it, it's got one little thing that is not my preferred on it, but I still like the interior. So I'm not really settling. So don't, don't get me wrong there. I'm not trying to say that. Um, but uh, just letting you know that even even us that are are here that at the dealership level we're not getting everything we want every you know every time of course even when we're trying to buy our own vehicles but that being said what's what happens you know and and i thought that you guys might be interested to kind of know what happens when a vehicle is built and starts moving so um just going to give you a little bit of a of a fun thing so um what I can see and what I know. So the, the Tundra is built in San Antonio, Texas. So uh, depending on the particular vehicle that you get, it, it might have been built in Japan. It might be built in Canada. It might be built in Mexico. It might be built in the US. Uh, it could be built in Alabama. It could be built in Kentucky, Indiana. There's a lot of places that Toyota builds vehicles, right? So um, that being said, depending on where it comes, from is how it will show up right so um, anything that's built overseas in japan something like a prius um you know or a forerunner right it's going to come across the boat it's going to land in port or, or come across on a boat it's going to land in port they're going to port process it they're going to uh, uh usually if there's something that gets added that's a port add item they're going to add it there um and then they're going to put it on a train ship it across the country uh to a another port we'll call it which is a rail port at that point and then they are going to um ship it via truck to the dealership that you'll end up buying it from that's that's normal it comes from canada it it's going to probably get on a train in canada it will get on a train in canada and it's going to come down and it's going to land at a port probably indiana but it's going to land at a port or, or at least for us be indiana um but if it's you know maybe west coast it comes down from canada and it'll go over to somewhere on the west coast and you'll land at a port there so there's several ports and several places that they can offload the vehicles um and you know obviously they're going to put the vehicles on the train at some point which would be you know in you know usually where the plant is of course or, or nearby there um, they'll put it on the train at that point so um, it does tend to to travel via train unless you're just so close to the dealers or to, so so close to the manufacturing facility that they just truck it straight from there so so kind of like um you know something that's built like a camry uh is built in georgetown kentucky so uh they don't put that on a train to send it here so that if it's built in georgetown it just comes straight from a truck to us right so um that's just how it works pretty easy right so um back to my truck so what can i see as a salesperson and how can i help you in a way that i'll help myself obviously because i'm as excited as anybody to get my truck and i know when you got one coming you're just as excited as i am that you want to know where's it at where's that now where's it at now where's it at now i've had those calls 10 minutes later is, is it at now is it updated or is it, has it been built where's it at so what can i see when can i see it great great question right and and i've been asked that a lot and i figured i'd tell you so there's usually a production expected date um, on the system that we can look at that production expected date necessarily doesn't necessarily mean that it's built that date 
usually it is sometimes it's built and it might start being built like the you know a couple days before and it's finished that day who, who knows right but usually if it says production date like mine said 10 6 right so it said production date 10 6 mine uh it showed that it was built 10 6 so at least it was completed 10 6. Um, and then the next thing it showed was port processing right so or, or processing so it processed out of the factory on the 7th all right and then uh it said uh rail departure date and it said the 10th was rail departure date so it's already left and i've already been able to see that so your salesperson should be able to look and tell you all of that kind of information on your vehicle right so what's what's the next step what's the next step now keep in mind mine started moving on the train it'll tell me and it actually tells me the rail line that it's on it even tells me the car it's in so the rail car that it's in so i can see that i can see who's carrying it and i can see all of that information now tracking can you track it in real time no <laughs> but it normally will give you about a daily update. All right, sometimes it'll skip a day or two, but usually I can get about a daily update from that system. So um, so like my truck, it initially showed that it got on the train on 1010, right? And I waited all the 1010, got on as of 1011. It showed that it went, it showed uh, on the train in San Jose, um, uh, Texas. And I know I keep wanting to say California, but San Jose, Texas. All right, and then it showed the next day, it said that it moved from San Jose, Texas to San Antonio. That's not far, guys. <laughs> so the train doesn't necessarily move that far as it's going, right? So, um, and then the next day it went from there to Arlington, Texas, uh, which is just north of Dallas. And that's where I'm making this video, right? Not, not I'm not in Texas, but that, the point that I'm making this video, the train that has my trucks in Arlington, Texas. All right, so, I can get those updates. Your salesperson can get those updates. Um, so like I said, if you have a really good salesperson, like this guy, um, if you have a really good salesperson, we tend to keep you updated as things are moving as much as you'd like to be. There's some people that's like, let me know when it arrives. Don't really care what the, how it travels. That's fine. Um, but there's other people that get really excited like I am and they want to know Where's it at now? Where's it at now? I'm checking three or four times a day on my own truck, right? So it, it's fun. I, I find it fun and I want it here uh, day after uh, the day before yesterday. Um, anyway, <laughs> so I, I obviously want my truck here pretty quick. And I told you guys that I would keep you guys all appressed of, uh, or apprised of what's going on with uh, my truck as it lands in that. I've already let my manager know um, that that's gonna offload it for me, that if I can get a heads up, I'd, I'm gonna try to get pictures of how it's at on the truck, how it gets taken off the truck, show you things about how it's packaged from Toyota uh, before you guys ever see it there's things that get done to it I'm um, gonna try to to get involved in some of that stuff to to help you to know what happens to your vehicle before you pick it up when you get a new vehicle I think it's a really cool thing that we can do to kind of give you guys a little bit of information so you know why it takes a little bit of time what we see um, how it how it works it gets to port you get certain things that are added at port stuff like that i just think it's a really cool thing to show you guys so that's what i'm going to try to do and hopefully you guys can uh, go along that journey with me and it's just really i think it's fun so hopefully you guys agree and uh but just like i said my truck's been built and it's moving it's coming this way i uh, can't wait to get it uh like i said it's a blue limited iforce max hybrid black interior uh short bed i i'm i'm excited right so definitely come along with me on it i'm gonna show you about it i'm going to uh do some def videos when definite videos when i get it um and i'm gonna show you a lot of the process of how they check it in like i said as long as i can get involved in that and you know hopefully that that works out the way that i'm trying to make it work so um but steve watch beam and toyota definitely like subscribe you're gonna want to be a part of this guy so definitely subscribe to my channel and i'm gonna show you some things and i think you guys are gonna be uh uh, pretty impressed with what we do. So, uh, Steve Welch, Beam and Toyota. Subscribe, guys. Talk to you soon. Bye.